So here's the cooler that I had in my van. It was the one that was laying on its side and opened like this. It's 102 quarts, holds a lot of food. I will be using the same cooler in my new build um, in a different way. But what I decided to do is that I'm going to insulate it with this big, thick, thick kind of Reflectix insulation. It's like Reflectix, but it's thicker. And um, I'm going to make, I'm going to get a piece for in here and stick it up there. And then I'm going to make a piece for the bottom. And then I'm going to make sides. And I'm also going to make another piece that sits on the top that is going to be able to go up or down according to the volume of food. So as the food gets smaller, I want a piece of this, if I have enough, to actually um, have it sitting on top of the food so it can sit up here, or it might sit a few inches down, a few inches down. It will always be sandwiched in between this insulation. So what I'm trying to accomplish here is to get more um, mileage out of my ice packs. Um, it's, they seem to last a good solid day just to have this cooling at the most efficient way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this like this, which is kind of how I had it in my van. And I'm going to measure this, the inside of this here. We got 11, 11 by 31. So, I got my Sharpie. I'm going to do eleven, 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 and then what was it? What did I say? Thirty, thirty one. Thirty one is right here. So we'll do. So, I'm going to cut right along these lines that I made. There it is. And I'm going to go right up to those lines. Go like this. So that fits right in there. Look at that. So I think what I need to do is I need to round the edges because they're a little round in there. So I'm going to just round those off really quick there you have it so that goes in there and i'm going to have to if you can see this, do it like this. So this has a little thingy majiggy. I'm going to have to cut, make a little slit for this. That's okay. So now to just kind of finish off these edges, because when you cut it open, you cut, you just expose all the bubble, the bubble wrap. I like to do the edges with the silver tape. So I only want to work with it in smaller pieces because it's not the easiest to work with. Sometimes it's not easy to get this started off the backing. Okay, here we go. Just little bits at a time. I'll just go just like this. OK, 
Okay, so that's like that. Then I'm just going to fold her over. Yeah, see the difference on this edge just being all finished instead of open like this. It just closes the cells right up. And I'm just going to keep doing that. So I'm going to cut this corner there we go there's the there's the cut for Close that little cut up too. So the way that this works is it's going to go right here. It's going to split right there so that that still functions. And there you have it. <laughs> so I have the Scotch mounting tape. Scotch clear double-sided mounting strips. These work great. So what I'm going to do I'll take, all right, so these are, I'm going to make this into four strips instead of two. I'm going to put one here.
one here. One here. One here. I think that's going to do it. I'm going to peel off the other side. Oh, they don't come off easy. Off easy. Got it. Ah, goodness. All right, let's try this again. Got it. All right, so there's my four sticky tapes. One, two, three, four. I'm going to stick this in here. Once that touches that sticky stuff, it's not going to come off, so i got to get this lined up first. That lined up perfectly. So there you have it. There's that, which will help immensely. So now I'm going to measure the bottom and do the exact same thing for the bottom. So we have 13 by 33. 13 by 33. So it's the next day and I'm continuing this project. So I finished this whole upper thing. So I have all this stuff cut and measured. So here's the two pieces to make the walls. So I'm going to tape these together. And then here's the floor. Here's the floor. I'm going to tape, tape that on there too. And then here is the cover. I, I made this um, just like I made this. I've got the edges all done with the tape, and that's going to sit on top of the food. And as the amount of food decreases, this will always be adjusting to the food. This is all in an effort to keep my ice packs colder for longer. So I'm going to get taping on these and finish it all off, and I'll show you then. So I got this whole continuous piece going. I cleaned this whole edge right here. I have the tape going on this edge. This edge will be the edge that's facing up. The edge that's facing down, I don't need to finish off. It's going to be face down and I'm going to tape it together inside. So now I just need to tape that together. Here we go. Here's my little circle. tape all that down. Let me just give you a little quick tip when you're working with this tape. <sighs> all right. So if I, if I spend the time trying to peel the backing off the silver, I'm going to be trying to get it off for a long time. But if I turn it around and pull the silver off the backing, it happens in a, in a second. 
So I learned that the hard way. If you're pulling the backing off, it will be very time consuming. Pull the silver from the backing, boom, it's separated. Oh well. So I'm just gonna get pieces and just and just uh, in just in random spots, I'm going to tape just to connect the top and the bottom. I thought about it that it doesn't even need to be. It doesn't even need to be connected because it will just stay in place. But I just thought of just, just it being extra insulated, extra closed in, especially at the bottom because cold air sinks. Remember, cold sinks, heat rises. So as my as my coldness is sinking, I want it to be as buttoned up as possible. So we're gonna button up the bottom. And so it's all set. It's all set. So here's the little thing. Comes right out like a big, big insulated bucket. So now this this is like almost like Reflectix, except it's a lot thicker. It's made for um, to wrap water heaters in. So it's kind of a commercial thing. A, a friend gave me a piece of it. So, uh, but I would imagine if you can't get your hands on this thick stuff, I would think that the Reflectix would add some um, insulating properties as well. The, the kind, the rolls that you can get at Lowe's. And uh, so I think it's going to be a game changer. And then here is my cover that I will further insulate the top of the food with. There you have it. These are the kind of projects you work on when you're in the middle of a van build and it's 26 degrees this morning. <laughs> the last thing I wanna do is go in the garage and continue the insulation project because uh, this coming week coming up, it's gonna be 60s and 70s. That's the days that I flip open the garage doors and work on the van. But in those, in those days that it's um, just uncomfortable to be down there, I do a project like this that I can do inside. So when the time comes, when the build is really coming together and I start to bring things in, this project will be done. Um, so I have a lot of little projects in mind that um, that I can do when the weather's not cooperating um, and just getting her done, getting her done, getting her done. Bye for now.